As a pastor and someone with two ministers license, I'm always amazed at how people who claim to be Christian ask the money question to someone who's in struggle, who is indigent, who is homeless. They often say something like, don't you want it? To a man like me, that's a major insult because of course, people in general need income and donations and revenue to live. But when you insult me with two dollars as if Jesus Christ doesn't deserve more than that, I don't know how to say that to you. I am not presuming or acting as if I am Christ. I'm just looking at you going, you know, why would you make the time? Because if you're trying to make the time by talking at me, you're wasting my time. I had other things to do in that moment, and you're thinking that what you're providing me in two dollars is the greatest thing of all time. It's not. I've been gifted and I've been donated to much higher in dollars as a regular practice and openly that's probably why I might typically look insulted but I'm not insulted. What I'm insulted by is the question and the approach. I'm never insulted by any amount of money that you try to give me unless you try to give me your pocket change as if I'm a, a, a child in a high chair with a cup and I don't like that way. What I can tell you is that all human beings need income, earnings, and revenue. Which means when you ask me if I want the money, that's almost an insult because most people want to earn money. But everyone wants to know what the money is for. And so it's a lot better if you can approach with a natural approach of, I notice that you might be in struggle right now. I'm wondering if I could give you a blessing or a donation to your program or to your life so that you might do something for yourself today. But then I want you to think about your own life. And if it was you, what would you need? How would you know if you don't ask the question, what are you needing today? So when someone tries to play me with $2, I'm like, well, if you wouldn't mind helping, what I really need you is go down the road and pick this up for $2, and then I'm in good shape. But you have to be willing to do it without telling anyone in the, along the way. Otherwise, the thing that I need gets ruined.